So today's video is all about why do we not have a coronavirus drug yet and is it possible to develop one soon? So to know that let's get to the video. How will this pandemic come to an end? Well there can be a possibility of it to be seasonal meaning it petters out with the weather and can actually return at this time the very next year. Another possibility is that during this time duration there can be a build up in the immunity which could inevitably lead to the death of millions. Another question is what is the current best option least to save the lives? My answer would be to accelerate the development of therapeutic antiviral drugs that treat the infection and prophylactic antiviral drugs that prevent the infection and you know what a massive corpus of laboratory studies conducted around the past coronavirus outbreaks already exists remnants of drugs discovery efforts marshaled around SARS which is severe acute respiratory syndrome and MERS middle east respiratory syndrome now a question must be arising your minds how were sars and mers treated well most patients infected were treated using experimental combinations of ribavirin interferons steroids and antibiotics though it was never proven at the time whether these therapeutic interventions corresponded with the actual recovery rates A point to be taken into consideration is that the COVID-19 is called SARS-CoV-2 because although their genomes aren't exactly identical the two coronaviruses have between 80 to 90% of same genetic material like the SARS-CoV SARS-CoV-2 penetrates a human lung cell by binding to ACE2 a uh, which is a receptor protein located on its surface another thing to be known as that a clinical trial was held to determine whether lopavir and ritonavir a combo of hiv treatment that inhibits coronavirus proteases would deter the virus in covid-19 patients but unfortunately it didn't give the expected results Well for now it is ultimately these FDA approved drug candidates both those targeting viral proteins that offer us the most rapid solution For now people are using anti malarial drugs for people traveling or stationed in countries where malaria is prevalent and combination of antiviral drugs for hiv known as prep recommended for the populations at risk the efficacy of drugs like chloroquine which treat the respiratory consequences of infection but don't attack the virus directly is not yet known so this was it about the video